This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Squarespace questions or tasks on demand. Okay. Today we'll be looking at fits in some responsiveness issues on the site Emerald Fox. Um, so basically the problem is this. You have um, your columns, your four columns that look fine on desktop view, but when we minimize the page, there is some overlap in here and the text looks really squashed. Um, and funny enough, it looks fine when you kind of make the browser window smaller because these items all stack on top of each other. So the solution that I, I've implemented would be instead of having four columns on the smaller devices or like the iPad size devices, we're going to have two columns. So your site will work like this. On a, des on a desktop view, there will be four columns. And then when the screen is minimized just um, under 1,200 pixels, it will switch to two columns. And then on the smallest view, it'll kind of just default to what it was before. And this smallest view kicks in about 640 pixels. So we're going to work within those parameters. All right, so I have this kind of test site that kind of does the same thing where there are four columns and as you make the browser window smaller um, the text does become really squashed so we're going to take the same steps here that I've applied to this fix on for your site and you can take these same steps so what we'll do is to go into the back end of the site we we'll click on settings Next, we'll go to advanced. Then we'll go to code injection. And right here under, under where it says header, we'll add our CSS code that will apply to these four columns on, on small devices. So first we'll start with the style tags. So that's our open and closing style tags. Next, we'll do at media. And then we'll type min width. That wrong, min width 640 pixels. And what that does is to only apply the CSS we're about to write um, down to where the screen size is 640. And then after that, it'll just do the default thing, which is to stack the columns one after the other. But we'll also do and max width. Colon 1200 pixels, and the 1200 pixels specifies where we want the columns to kick in. So below 640 pixels, it will be one column. Anywhere above that, it will be two columns. And anywhere above that, up to 1200 pixels, because at 1200 pixels, it will switch back to the four columns. So we'll add our open and closing curly braces. And then here we'll type the code that would apply just to those um, columns, which is dot sqs dash col dash eight. Then space col dot sqs dash col dash two. Those are our open and closing. CSS tags, and we're going to set the width to 50% for two columns. And we also want to add a margin zero auto that makes sure that it's aligned properly horizontally. You we'll also add display inline block, which also helps with the horizontal fit in. Float none because the default is to float left and it looks really weird when you only have two columns that like here where there is no where the um content doesn't always line up and we'll also add vertical align top and that makes sure that when you make the screen smaller like, it'll just line up to the top of every column and look correct so once that's in place we'll save the changes 
And here we can already see how nice and beautiful it looks. All right, so I'll just close this. And let's check it out in action. So on the regular desktop view, it'll remain the same where there are four columns. And as you make the screen smaller, anywhere between 640 and 1200, it'll be two columns. And if you make it smaller than that, like below your 640 pixels, it'll then be your one column, which is the default for these types of columns. So that's it. That's how you make that fixed on, on your site. So there's no overlapping text. Was this helpful? Ask a Squarespace question now. AskQuesty.com.